One of the most intuitive functions of ChatGPT is that it can provide feedback on your code. When you're working in a big company, it is important to have code reviews to get some feedback on it. By sharing your code snippets, you can receive suggestions, identify potential errors, and even get tips on how to optimize your code for better performance. In this video, you will learn how to use ChatGPT to enhance your coding skills. Till now, we have seen how to create a study plan and how to generate small code snippets. Along with generating code, one of the most intuitive functions can be to provide feedback on your code. When you are working in a company, it is important to have code reviews to get some feedback on it. ChatGPT can provide valuable feedback on your code. By sharing your code snippets, you can receive suggestions, identify potential errors, and even get tips on how to optimize your code for better performance. This feedback can significantly enhance your coding skills and help you write more efficient and robust code. Please note that for any task related to code that you perform with the help of ChatGPT, you have to be good enough in that area to detect errors and misinformation in case it fails to provide the correct answer. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. Let us provide ChatGPT with a simple code that says, I will be asking ChatGPT, what do you think of this code in one paragraph? And I have already copy pasted my code here. So it's a simple Java program. It says the provided code defines sum of numbers inside the class it is uh, there are two variables that it has declared n1 and n2 uh, however the code does not assign any values to n1 and n2 so both remain at their initial value zero and finally the code computes the sum of n1 and n2 and assigns it to the sum variable Overall, the code appears to be incomplete as it lacks any output or further functionality beyond calculating the sum of two numbers. So as you can see, it has told me what exactly the code does. And it has also provided me with some feedback on that this code does not do anything. It is just adding two numbers. There is no scenario where this function is printing the sum or returning the sum anywhere. Let us try to ask ChatGPT, what do you think about this code in detail as you can see it has given me a well highlighted code and it has also made it in a proper format it looks pretty good and it has given me a detailed summary of what exactly the function does it says the line sum equal to n1 plus n2 calculates the sum and it has also told me in detail that this code does not perform any meaningful computation or output. It simply initializes three variables and computes their sum, but the result is not used or displayed in any way. So it has also suggested that if you have a specific goal or requirement, you may need to modify the code to perform the desired operations and include appropriate output statements or additional functionality. Well, this is pretty impressive. By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments. Go check it out. Now let's ask ChatGPT if it has any recommendations about this code. Do you have any recommendations on this code? As you can see, I don't need to give any context. It automatically assumes that I'm talking about the summation function. Let us see what it has replied. It has told me that instead of generic names, you can provide some meaningful names, which is a really important factor when you are coding in a company because there are so many variables that you work with. And it has also told me to initialize do not initialize it to zero, initialize it to five or 10 so that it is more meaningful. It has told me to display the result somewhere and consider, consider taking N1 and N2 as user input using the scanner function. 
and also add some error handling to it because it's a good practice to include error handling in case of invalid inputs you can use exception handling or conditional statement to validate the input and handle potential errors gracefully as you can see this is a code that you write as someone who has newly entered into the development industry but when you go to some company where there are specific requirements about how to make a function more viable then you have to use these recommendations because it is very important for you to know that variable names matter a lot error handling matters a lot so it has also told me that in this version the program prompts the user to enter two numbers calculate their sum and display their results this looks pretty good to me now let's move on to a little more complex code let us ask chat gpt if the code that i'm going to add right now has any vulnerabilities because i want to know if it will give me any errors in the future so i'm going to ask what do you think of this code and does it have any vulnerabilities this is a code that is from my own project it is a product service function on java it's a very long code so let's see what chatgpt gives us it tells me that there are a few observations that it has done it says that the code appears to be well structured and follows good practices it says dependency injection standard naming conventions the code follows standard java naming conventions which enhances readability and maintainability there is error handling then there is stream operations which is map and collect and then there is security and input validation it says that the code does not contain any explicit security measures or input validation it assumes that the code is valid that the input is valid and does not address potential vulnerabilities like sql injection so it tells me that the overall code seems to be well implemented and follows good coding practices however it is important to consider security and input validation measures depending on the context in which this code is used this is a pretty good answer i have gotten a lot of insight on my own code and maybe in the future i will be implementing these things in my project so at the end let us ask chat gpt what are some good coding conventions in java so it has not only given me some of the good coding conventions it has also told me that it has also given me examples associated with it like how to do naming for variables how to do indentation how to comment this code organization you always have to do error handling in your code then there's naming convention for constants and enums you have to use uppercase then there is use of generics for type safety then there is testing and documentation so it also tells me that they, these are some of the common coding conventions in java follow these to promote readability maintainability and consistency in your code as you can see that it has provided me with some solid recommendations which undoubtedly makes my coding better and as conclusion it has sufficiently informed me about the code and provided feedback on how well my code will function in the future